Greetings agents. Today we will analyze an object in the foundation's position that is capable of altering the psyche of inanimate objects. The peculiarity of this entry is that the foundation seems to have plans for the substance itself beyond the simple containment of anomalies. Item number SCP-379 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-379 is to be kept in vault at sector when not in use. When being transported, it should be carried in a locked and, and padded container, such as a padded briefcase, as the bottle is fragile. As our supply is limited, all testing and experimentation must be authorized by doctor beforehand. Description SCP-379 is a translucent, pale, silver liquid contained in a small crystal bottle. The bottle is topped with an atomizer cap which delivers approximately one half, 0.5 milliliters of the clear substance inside the bottle. The bottle itself has no noted properties of any particular interest. However, the liquid inside, while scentless and ineffective to normal human beings, has the strange effect of inducing a state not unlike human infatuation upon electronic and mechanical devices. When applied to a person or some object, any machines or electronics in the vicinity, aside from those wearing SCP-379, will begin running in overheated state, unable to process as many commands and consuming more energy. For cybernetic systems or computers deemed sentient, the target seems to exhibit more humanistic qualities of typical infatuation, including a preference to be around or in contact with the wearer of SCP-379, more willingness to cooperate with anyone in the room while the wearer of SCP-379 is present, slower response time in machines, a slightly higher chance of minor glitches and malfunctions. It has been suggested to expose aggressive SCPs, such as SCP to SCP-379, to see if the pheromone can reduce their aggressiveness, perhaps allowing us to ask more questions about their function. It has also been suggested to try SCP-379 on SCPs that are non-mechanical and do not exist in our three-dimensional real-world state, as it is the case of SCP-732, to see if the pheromone affects them, even when unlikely. There is no known reason as to how the sporting of SCP-379 affects most machines. SCP-379 does not release any sort of scent or detectable pheromone into the air. It has been suggested that SCP-379 has an electromagnetic frequency of some sort, but tests have proven this theory inconclusive. Further tests are to be limited until chemical composition is established to determine if SCP-379 can be artificially replicated. Addendum 379-A Experiments with SCP-379 and SCP-915 showed that purely mechanical devices of sufficient complexity could be affected by SCP-379. SCP-915's intake of air increased threefold, but this was not accompanied by a detectable increase in computation speed. Requests have been made to test if the internal shift of SCP-915 increased in response to SCP-379. Due to lack of quantities of SCP-379, continued experiments with SCP-915 are denied. And low. Another anomaly with bizarre properties capable of causing great havoc to normalcy. The Foundation does not mention the origin of the pheromone, but its inclination to replicate it makes me think that they have the sole possession of the substance. Using the pheromone on people with access to critical technology and information could give the SCP Foundation even more tools for continuing their agenda. I recommend that the Coalition finds and destroys all samples of the pheromone as soon as possible, in order to ensure that the Foundation's research and development process is halted. You too can help us fulfill the fivefold goal by leaving suggestions and comments below. I am Virostris Anonimo, we are the GOC, and you have been informed.